A Parker County grandmother is recovering after being held at gunpoint in her own home. Now, luckily, her quick thinking family helped sheriff's investigators track down the suspects. Fox 4's Brandon Todd has another story you will see only on Fox 4. Brandon. Yeah, Heather, if you ask Paula Holder how long that robbery took, she'll say it felt like forever. She was terrorized and she still shakes when she talks about it. But as for the suspects, detectives say they were busted by their own stupidity and Facebook. And as I'm coming down the hall, I turn these lights on right here where I could see outside. Paula Holder thought nothing of helping a young man Monday night who knocked on the door of her Weatherford home and asked her to use her cell phone. He made a call, received a call, thanked her, and left. She says 30 minutes later, the same young man rang her doorbell again. Opened the door and he held the gun right to my face and said, um, he said, back up and let me in. He wasn't alone this time. Parker County Sheriff's detectives say there were two men later arrested and identified as 18-year-old Diamond Salinas and 20-year-old Tyler Tice. They demanded cash, all the while, Holder recalls, pointing their guns at her head. While the one was pilfering through my bedroom, I talked to the other. I said, why are you doing this? I said, you're allowing this other man to ruin your life. Holder says she had one moment of panic. Her baby grandson was sleeping in a back room. And as one of the men walked down the hallway toward that room, this thing? grandmother went into protection mode. I said, you can shoot me if you want to, but I have got to get up and go get my grandbaby. I said, that man is not going to be back there alone with my grandchild. And uh, so I, I just pushed him back and walked down the hall. And about that time, he hollered at the other guy. I said, she's coming back. And so the other guy met me about at the T of the, right at the end of the hall. The two men stole a total of $9 and finally left. Moments later, detectives arrived. Just then, her daughter remembered something, the phone call that the suspect made and her mom's call log. But I thought, you know, I've got these phone numbers. Oh, I'm going to just type it into Facebook and see what happens and see what, what, who it pulls up. And it pulled him right up and showed it to me. I said, yes, that's him, that's him. They showed the Facebook picture to investigators and within 24 hours, both suspects were in custody. One of them, Tyler Tice, who was not the one who used Holder's phone, talked to us from the Parker County Jail. No, I didn't do anything. I'm, I'm in trouble for something. I don't even know what's going on. And you were not with Diamond? No, sir. And you didn't go to this house? No, sir. Hold a gun to this woman's head? No, sir. I don't, only, for cash? I don't even own a gun. Holder says she wasn't physically harmed, but emotionally, this will take a long time to heal. He seemed so nice earlier. Yeah. Just, you know, a, a lesson well learned. Don't open the door. Detectives say there was also a call that was uh, called into Crime Stoppers by one of the suspect's family members that investigators say, say kind of sealed the deal on the arrest. And, and Heather, as for Mrs. Holder, she says while she may have been a casual Facebook user in the past, mm -hmm. she's a huge fan of the social site now. Oh, I bet. And I love how she was just going to, to protect her grandson. Awesome. Strong woman. Brandon, thank you.